Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Fuse News, this week from the Samuel Alexander Building. The universities and college unions has announced that the strike action taking place next week will affect the University of Manchester, along with 59 other universities. Members of staff who are part of the union will be taking action for eight days, from Monday the 25th of November to the following Wednesday the 4th of December. Such members of staff are striking for a number of reasons, including the increasing precarity and insecurity of contracts at the university, the gender and ethnicity pay gaps, with the mean gender pay gap at U of M increasing to 18.4%, with the ethnicity pay gap being 10.5%. Academics are also assumed to work a 37.5 hour week, but most academics work in excess of 45 hours a week. Subinflation pay awards have also meant that some staff have endured a 20% pay since 2009, as well as changes in the USS pension scheme, meaning that staff will get less of a pension when they retire. The strike action will only occur if a deal cannot be struck between union members and the universities by this Friday, the 22nd of November. At 9.10 a.m. on the morning of Tuesday, 19th November, 16 student activists began the occupation of a corridor on the John Owens building, demanding that the university do something about their investment in fossil fuels. The protesters have called on the university to engage with them during this peaceful protest and have said they don't plan on leaving until they do so. We tried to talk to some of the protesters but could not gain access to the building. Tuesday also saw the launch of the campaign Decolonize U of M, a collective of staff and students who aim to reimagine and build a democratic and free education for all. The event, which took place in The Hive, saw many university societies come together to launch the event in the hopes of removing the university's institutional links with Israeli apartheid, Islamophobia, as well as ending the university's ties to the global arms trade, along with many more aims. Next week sees the premiere of this year's UMMT, University of Manchester Musical Theatre Society production, Legally Blonde at the Students' Union. The cast will have five performances, one each night from Tuesday the 26th of November through to Saturday the 30th of November from 7.30 p.m. We went behind the scenes at one of the cast rehearsals to see more and speak to some of those involved. It tells the story of a simple blonde girl with a penchant for pink and her quest to get into the prestigious law program at Harvard University. I think it's such an important story to be told. Uh, There's been lots of laughter. Um, I don't think there's been any tears yet. Maybe that's still to come uh, in the final, final week or so. Getting to sort of, even the big songs that I'm not supposed to be in, I get to sort of sing them from behind the stage, uh, like behind the scenes and stuff, and just join in because they're all great, and the harmonies are lovely, and it's just a great fun being around the cast, really. Do blondes have more fun? Yes, 100,000% yes. And finally, can you show Fuse TV how to bend and snap? We can yes, do we it. we can do it, but you'll have to come and watch the show to find out. Bend and snap. <laughs> um, Callahan does not bend or snap. Put your leg down like that, and then snap. <laughs> That's how a pro does it. <laughs> Whilst the Christmas markets opened a fortnight ago, the last week has seen the turn on of Manchester's annual Christmas lights. This year's lights are one of a kind, as they're environmentally friendly. The lights are made from recyclable materials and can be biodegraded after use. And before we go, here at Fuse TV, we would like to congratulate our sister publication, the Mancunian newspaper, on winning Best Publication North in the regional conference series. Well done to all the team involved. That's all from me, and from Fuse News, that's goodbye. <laughs>